Hello, 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 and welcome, my wonderful weaving friends. This is lesson five, Spanish Lace. This is the Epically Creative Weaving Chorus, module 3A, lesson five, and I am Amy D. McKnight, your guide along this wonderful creative weaving journey. In this lesson, you will learn what Spanish Lace is, how to weave Spanish Lace, some creative ideas for how to use Spanish Lace. What is Spanish lace? Spanish lace is the weft is woven back and forth in a small section across the warp. Yeah, it's really, really straightforward. Like it's super straightforward. It's woven in an odd number of passes so that you can always make progress, keeping moving forward. So you're going back and forth and back and forth. You kind of have to keep it an odd number so that you're always traveling. <laughs> in the direction that you're supposed to be traveling. All right, you can weave Spanish lace in even grooves or in grooves of various warp threads. It's helpful to use thread of a different color or texture if you're trying to accentuate your Spanish lace. There are other reasons you might want to use Spanish lace. We're not going to get into that in this video, but yeah, generally it's woven in a different color, different weight than the plain weave sections what you're going to need. It can be helpful to have a hand beater or a small pick or a fork to help beat down the little sections as you're weaving because you're not really gonna be able to use your heddle. And again, a thread of a different texture or color is also helpful when weaving Spanish lace. How to weave Spanish lace. All right, you're gonna start out by weaving under the number of threads you want in your little mini section. We're doing this on a open shed. So you're going to go under the threads that are in the shed, right? Then you're going to come out of the shed. Chain sheds. You're going to weave back in the opposite direction. You're going to bring that shuttle out and chain sheds. You're going to weave under the next set of threads and you're going to start your next mini sections if you're only weaving three passes. You can do as many or as few. Generally speaking, your, your minimum is going to be three. And then you can go the sky's the limit of how many more you want to go. You're going to chain sheds and you're going to use the fork to beat because now you're not going to be able to use your beater. You're going to weave back and forth, back into the opposite direction and bring the shuttle out. Chain sheds. Then you're going to weave under the next several threads and you're going to be starting your next little mini section or bundle if you're only doing three picks in your particular Spanish lace. So remember, you're going to do, do it in three, um, five, seven, nine, eleven, however you want to do it. You're going to continue across and you're going to get the cute little kind of little backwards, well, yeah, no, no, Spanish, backwards S's. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a minute I had to remember which way does the S go. All right, you're going to weave a pick of plain weave and then you're going to beat and um, you can start again. You're going to find an over my shoulder video of me weaving after this lesson. It will be labeled Spanish lace. Now, here are some creative ideas for using Spanish lace. It doesn't have to be woven evenly or balanced. So in this particular picture, I have some woven um, smaller and then I have a block that's woven double the size. I could have gone even crazier and had them going really wonky. You can pull the sections tighter to make wider spaces between the grouped threads. In this lesson, you will learn, or you did learn, what Spanish lace is, how to weave Spanish lace, and some creative ideas for how to use Spanish lace. Now, I want you to take action now. Weave along with me or after the video as I demonstrate how to weave Spanish lace. Download the handout so you can check this off as you go. You know, it's, it's always nice to feel that sense of accomplishment as you tick the box to know that you've completed or at least tried out a skill. Hashtag creative weaving weft for social media if you're posting. And again, as always, I invite you to join my weaving community. There's an amazing group of people over there. It may or may not be open now. If it's not open, join the wait list and I will send you a message as soon as it opens up. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment on the video, subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell and share this video. Who else is sharing this stuff right now online? Maybe I will pave the way, but at the moment, this stuff is generally behind a paywall. So share this video. In the next lesson, you're going to learn what Danish medallions are, how to weave Danish medallions and some creative ideas for how to use Danish medallions. I'll see y'all in that next video.